does your product use or challenge conventions and how does it represent social groups or issues? The opening title of Prelude manipulates conventions typically found in teen dramas to set up the conflict the film's main protagonist, Sam, will eventually face. A common convention found in teen dramas like Booksmart, The Lizzie McGuire Movie, and Sixteen Wishes is that their opening titles are set in the bedroom of their protagonists. The bedroom is an intimate space where someone's personality and values can really shine through. In these three movies, the set design of the room reflects the characterization of their main characters. Trophies and the graduation gown reflecting the smart characterization in Booksmart, the messy room of Lizzie McGuire to reflect her quirky personality, and the boy crush posters in Sixteen Wishes to reflect the character's childish nature. In line with this idea, Prelude's opening title focuses on the elements of Nissan Sen to build a cohesive narrative to establish who Sam is as a character and the conflict she faces. In Prelude, Sam is a valedictorian who, contrary to usual conventions, is actually not ready to graduate. We gradually build on this idea through semiotics. In numerous shots of Prelude's opening title, we can notice three distinct objects that symbolize how exceptional Sam is as a student. Books, which is a conventional prop used to symbolize intelligence, show that Sam is smart. Trophies represent all her achievements, symbolizing that Sam is the best amongst her peers. Meanwhile, the MIT acceptance letter emphasizes Sam's abilities, representing the bright future she has after graduating high school. After establishing Sam's characteristics as a valedictorian, the opening title then veers away from typical conventions. Sam represents the fear and doubts that can plague the minds of any student as they transition between high school and university. And this is shown through several aspects of the opening title. First, Sam's acting. Whenever any elements relating to graduation appear, Sam acts angry and frustrated. Although it is never explicitly stated, it can be inferred that she is struggling with the idea of graduating despite her excellence in academics. In this manner, she is humanized and made more relatable as a struggling teenager. Second, the twisting of the typical bedroom convention of teen dramas. As mentioned before, a number of teen dramas open their films in their protagonist's bedroom. However, it is always in the morning where the main character is readying themselves up to go to school. They meet their friends and they always show some sort of socialization with their parents and peers. But in Prelude, this convention is flipped. Instead of getting ready for school, Sam gets home and shows her frustration alone at her bedroom at night. The fact that she is alone, feeling unguided, indicates the isolation she feels, something teenagers may feel during this period. It can be seen in Sam's bedroom that she has a lot of friends. She has a photo wall that is covered with their pictures, showing how she values their connections. Despite this, however, she is unable or unwilling to share her worries with them, emphasizing on Sam's isolation due to her internal turmoil. And lastly, the mood we build is especially important to present Sam's melancholy. The opening title uses a lo-fi, dreamy background music to build on the sense of Sam's loneliness.